hello students this is the 13th part of parabola today i'm going to explain some important properties of tangents of a parabola so first one is actually here i wrote important result 3 because in part uh, 12 so important result 1 and 2 completed this is important result 3 equation of pair of tangents concept of equation of pair of tangents observe students here for example a parabola is given an external point is given for example this is 2 comma 3 so this is something uh, x square plus 3x plus 4 equal to y okay through this point you can draw two tangents to the parabola so this is one tangent this is another tangent here our target is to find the combined equation of these two tangents so one of the method is okay first of all find the card of contact so we can say that uh, this line is card of contact for this point with respect to this parabola okay just you need to find s1 equal to 0 which is nothing but card of contact after finding card of contact we get a straight line for example the straight line is uh, some lx plus my plus n equal to 0 so is this straight line and this quadratic solve then you get a uh, two added pairs one added pair gives a another added pair gives b so by using point a and this given point if say p you can find the equation of this straight line using this point and p you can find the equation of this tangent so multiply those two linear equations you get you get a second degree equation that is said to be the combined equation of these two tangents okay this is one of the way to find the combined equation of uh, uh, tangents but this is uh, not uh, easy so this is a long method so that's why we have another alternate methods to find the combined equation so we have the formula so I want to derive that formula now. Students listen now. Equation of pair of tangents. The equation of pair of tangents drawn through P x1 y1 to y square 4 x is yeah s1 square is equal to s into s double 1. So this is the formula to find the equation of pair of tangents. Now I will prove. this is a parabola so y square equal to 4x this is external point p x1 y1 okay through this point tangents are drawn this is one tangent this other tangent let us assume that the point of tangents are a and b Okay, friends. Yeah. Let uh, P A comma P B are tangents drawn through P. Okay do one thing let uh, q x comma y be a point on p b somewhere you take a point and say q here somewhere q whose coordinates are taken as x comma y because that is variable point no? that is not uh, exact position of q that is variable point b is exact position and p is exact position so q is not a uh, fixed no p is a variable point okay now observe so this is our tangent so this is a p so say this is b somewhere here q its coordinates are x comma y its coordinates are x1 comma y1 automatically at some ratio uh, b divides pq 
let the ratio be lambda h to 1 okay that I will write let b divides okay pq in the ratio lambda h to 1 my intention is to find the coordinates of b so directly I can find the coordinates of b by use section formula so mx2 plus nx1 by m plus n comma my2 plus uh, n y1 by m plus n so this is feel as x1 y1 this is feel as x2 y2 this is feel as mn okay lambda x plus x1 by lambda plus 1 comma lambda y plus y1 by lambda plus 1 okay these are the coordinates of b but what interesting thing is but the point excuse me the point b is on parabola means what what is the parabola and y square equal 4x the this point should be on the parabola y square equal to 4x so that's i will write so y square equal to 4a x x means lambda x plus x1 by lambda plus 1 y means na na, lambda y plus y1 by lambda plus 1 now i want to simplify this lambda y plus y1 whole square equal to 4a times of lambda plus 1 into lambda x plus 1 i cancelled here no? lambda plus 1 whole square here 1 lambda plus 1 cancelled and cross modification so lambda square y plus y1 square plus 2 lambda y y1 okay is equal to 4a lambda square x plus 4a lambda this is i think x1 no? okay 4a lambda x1 plus 4a lambda x plus 4a x1 now i want to simplify this and now i want to make it into a quadratic in uh, lambda okay so yeah lambda square i will take comma here one lambda square here one lambda square y minus 4a x into lambda square plus here 2 lambda is taken comma okay so what is an y y1 y y1 so i want some space for this okay yeah, y y1 I will write later on yeah, here lambda 2 lambda means 2a x1 minus 2a x1 yeah here also minus 2a x into 2 lambda I will write here 2 I will write here lambda okay plus remaining terms means y1 square is remaining so here remaining means what Anna? 4a x1 minus 4a x1 equal to 0 so now i will write things here now what is s uh, actually s stand for uh, y square minus 4ax here okay okay students s1 stand for what nana y y1 minus 2a times of x plus x1 yeah yes 1 1 stand for what nana y1 square minus 4a x1 so now i will write r this is s only s lambda square plus 2 into this is not s1 s1 lambda plus this one is nothing but s double one equal to 0 yeah absorption actually this is tangent you know? lambda is to means only one uh, value of lambda should exist okay but 
P B Q is a tangent. So I will take this one. So one should have repeated real roots, equal real roots. I can say equal real roots. That is, delta should be equal to zero. Delta means what? Na na b square minus four ac equal to zero. Okay, I will write in next page. B means what here? Two s one. Two s one square minus four a. A means what? An s. C means s double one. S into s double one. S into s double one should be zero. So here two square four can cancel. So s one square equal to s into s double one. This is the required relation. Now, now by using this relation, you can find the combined equation of those two tangents or pair of tangents. Okay, one example problem. Find the equation of pair of tangents drawn through through three comma minus two to the parabola. Yeah, y square equal to x. Okay, then no, no. so I want that solution. So parabola, the point is clearly the point is outside. You can check by using power of point concept. So two tangents are drawn. Okay, this is one tangent. This is another tangent. No, I want to find the combined equation. I already explained without using any formula. Also, you can find tangent equation. Just uh, uh, the simple uh, situation of y square x, y square equal to x parabola and three comma minus is a point. Just to can find chord of contact. After that, you can get these two points by solving with the uh, parabola. After that, you can find the equation of PA and PB separately. Multiplying those two, get the required combined equation. But I want to use this formula. Okay, what is S here, Nana? S is nothing but y square equal to x. S one means what? Y one, y y one minus x plus x one by two. I already explained. Next, S double one means what? Nana, that is y one square minus x one in this problem. Okay, what is the point here? Point. Point is three comma minus two. So I will write what is s no change in s no as y square equal to x. S one you can find. S one I think but y means minus two minus two y minus x plus three by two. More general I can say that minus four y minus x minus three by two. Okay, na na. This is s one. Yes, double one I want. So y one square minus that is four minus three that is equal to one. No, I will write the required equation. The required pair of tangents. Tangents equation. What is that? S one square. Equal to s c into s double one. Yeah. So s one square means what? Minus four y minus x minus three. Minus four y <coughs> minus four y minus x minus three by two whole square. Equal s means what? Y square minus x. S double means one. So I want cross check, na na. Four y minus x minus three. Okay. Four y minus x minus three. Okay. Now I can say that this is 4y plus x 
plus 3 whole square equal to 4 times of y square minus x. This is the equation of mm, combined equation of required pair of tangents. Sometimes we need to simplify that that is your work or you can simplify. So this is 16y square plus x square plus 9 plus 8xy plus 6x plus 24y minus 4y square plus 4x equal to 0. Now I want cross check now. A plus B plus C also A square plus B square plus C square plus 2AB. 2bc 2 c 4 3 is that 12 12 2 are 24 24 y okay okay yeah 12y square plus x square plus 8xy plus 10x anything more i think this is plus 24x 24y okay 24y Completed, 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 completed. Okay, next plus the constant plus 9 equal to 0. This is the equation you can cross check. Yeah, important properties regarding tangents. Important properties. First one. First one. Yeah, students. This is the first important property. Okay, the foot of perpendicular from focus upon any tangent line on tangent that drawn through vertex. Just rough explanation. This is the parabola. Na, this is the tangent drawn through vertex. This tangent drawn through the vertex yeah this is any tangent so from focus if you draw perpendicular that the perpendicular motion should meet the uh, point which is on the uh, tangent which is drawn through the vertex of the parabola means this is the perpendicular that is the meaning so now i want to explain this so parabola means any parabola generally we will derive all the results by using the parabola y square equal 4x only this is uh, some more difficult concepts difficult and important concepts over here yeah nana observe here this is the focus nana yes a comma zero just because my parabola is taken as y square equal to 4ax this becomes x axis yeah this is y axis this is x plus a equal to 0 this is vertex v 0 comma 0 there is not big problem ok do one thing now draw a tangent any tangent the parabola this is tangent ok now what the uh, property saying that from focus if a perpendicular dropped on this tangent the perpendicular means foot should be fall on the vertex uh, fall on the tangent which is drawn through vertex in just uh, if we if if I join this actually yeah actually just I want to join these two. Actually, it should be perpendicular. We, we will prove now that one. We will prove that. This is per we will prove that. The point of intersection of any tangent and uh, 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 tangent drawn through vertex, the meeting point and focus is joined. So, we can prove that this line segment is perpendicular to the tangent. That, that is not a big problem. 
I will prove. So say this is a point P. So now I want to prove that SP is perpendicular to this tangent. Okay. Let this is a one of the point and the tangent say A. So general parabola is y square for x no. That's why I can take P is equal to a t square comma 280. Now we want to prove that S P is perpendicular to this tangent. No? Automatically what is the equation of tangent? No, no? Equation of tangent. What is the formula? Yeah. Y t equal to x plus a t square. Yeah, this is the tangent equation. this is what is y axis only no? this tangent equation that directly I can say what are the coordinates of p in coordinates of p yeah x coordinate is 0 no? the, the point on x axis well, how we will get y coordinate means uh, just we want to uh, substitute 0 in the tangent equation instead of x what will get y nana here t t get cancelled a t will get a t should so what what should prove nana s p is perpendicular to tangent first of all I want to slope of s p slope of S P equal to so S means A comma 0 just P means 0 comma A T so what is slope nana A T minus 0 by 0 minus A that is equal to minus T slope of S P is minus T slope of tangent is automatically see here 1 by T only no? after converting uh, this in the form of y equal to mx plus C so I will write that one slope of tangent is 1 by t observe 1 by t only no after converting it in the uh, form of y equal to mx plus a, this one so its slope is t sp slope is minus t so the product is minus 1 only ok ok so slope of sp yeah, something P is not uh, correct uh, point uh, because SP SP is actually focal uh, distance general in general in general in general that's why I will take this is this one as a in general no problem but in general SP stand for uh, focal uh, yeah here also I took P only no that is my mistake actually this should be taken as a okay you can take this is a okay no problem no, no. Yes, we know S C A I can say no I can say uh, slope of S C A nothing is wrong P okay A okay in general in no, the point of tangent is taken as P you know focus S P means focal distance so that's why I change this point as A okay now P okay A okay no problem so what should write now uh, slope of uh, tangent 1 by T and uh, slope of uh, S C A I can say S C A into slope of tangent yeah this is minus t this is 1 by t equal to minus 1 therefore tangent is perpendicular to what is the point nana yes a so now i can conclude na? what is our conclusion the foot of perpendicular from focus upon any tangent line on tangent that drawn through the vertex completed. So here foot of perpendicular drop no? the foot become the point on the tangent which is drawn the vertex. Okay, hence proved. I can write. Hence proved. Okay, students, this is the important result. Nana. You should remember the, re the result should remember. Okay, based on this uh, property, I want to solve one problem. Students, two tangents of the parabola are x plus y equal 0 and x minus y equal 0, and its focus is 2, comma 3. Find the equation of tangent drawn through vertex. One also find length of lattice rectum.
स्टूडेंट्स इंटरेस्टिंग प्रॉब्लम है ना दिस इंटरेस्टिंग प्रॉब्लम टू टाइम जेंट्स ऑफ ए पैरा वाला आर एक्स प्लस वाई इक्वल टू जीरो एंड एक्स माइनस वाई इक्वल टू जीरो एंड इट्स फोकस इज टू कम अदर दैट इज नॉट स्टैंडर्ड पैरा वाला नॉट स्टैंडर्ड इज नॉट इन द फॉर्म ऑफ वाई स्क्वेर इक्वल फोर एक्स एक्स स्क्वेर इक्वल फोर ए वाई या दिस इज अ पैरा वाला हुज फोकस इज टू कम अदर सो टू सॉल्व दिस प्रॉब्लम एक्चुअली वी नीड टू यूज अवर प्रीवियस कॉन्सेप्ट अब्जोर यार दिस इज द टेंजेंट ड्रॉन थ्रू वर्टेक्स दिस इज द एक्सेस ओके सो से दिस इज द डायरेक्टर या अब्जोर स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज द फेरा बोला यस इज गिवन एज हियर टू काम थ्री नो वट इज द क्वेश्चन इज वी नीड टू फाइंड इक्वेशन ऑफ दिस टैंजेंट एलो वन वी वॉन्ट फाइंड इक्वेशन ऑफ दिस टैंजेंट which is drawn through vertex how can you find if you know coordinates of v and its slope we can find or we want use our previous concept so again i want to say that concept the foot of perpendicular from focus interesting observation the foot of perpendicular from focus upon any tangent any upon any tangent line on tangent that drawn through the vertex Lies on tangent that drawn through vertex means interesting one is for this parabola x plus y we draw on tangent no problem there is not big problem draw on tangent for example this is a x plus y equal tangent and uh, say this is x minus y equal tangent there is not big problem na for example name of this tangent is x minus y equal to zero and say this is x plus y equal to zero from s if draw of perpendicular on this tangent. The foot should be point on the tangent drawn through vertex. That is our previous concept. Automatically, by using foot concept, uh, we can find foot of two comma three on the line x minus y equal zero. The foot nothing but this point. Similarly, from S, I want draw perpendicular on this tangent x plus y equal to zero. X plus y equal zero. Automatically, the foot is nothing but this. So what happened? Indirectly, we found the two points on the A required tangent by using two point form you can find the equation of the tangent there is not big problem okay so say this point is generally this point is say a na na this point is b now according to previous uh, uh, note or previous property a is the foot of perpendicular a is the foot of perpendicular of s two comma three on this line I will write from property property 1 we can say a is the foot of perpendicular of s on x minus y equal to 0 first of all i will find this after after first i will find b nana first of all i want to find this is line The name of the line x minus y equal to zero line. Okay, so this point is two comma three. So this is h comma k. That is y h comma k. So everyone knows how to find that. So I will write directly here h minus two by one equal to k minus three by minus one foot foot minus times of two minus three. Okay, by a square one plus b square one. Now we need to simplify this. Yeah, h minus two equal to three minus k equal to yeah. What is this actually? Two minus minus one minus one is minus plus one one by two. One by two. So therefore, h comma k directly I want to write h comma k that is coordinates of a that is half plus two phi by two comma <coughs> three minus one by two three to the six phi by two. Okay. <coughs> Next b b I want b b. Uh, directly, I will write. No, no need to write again. Uh, that uh, 
word directly you can have b i one observe here na? this is two comma three yeah perpendicular so this is b the line is x y plus equal to zero say so h comma k directly you can say h minus 2 by 1 equal to k minus 3 by 1 equal to minus times of 5 direct step na na, by 2 so h comma k that is nothing but b that is nothing but uh, minus 5 by 2 plus 2 minus 1 by 2 observe na, 2 to the 4 yeah minus 1 by 2 comma minus 5 by 2 plus 3 1 by 2. So, now I can find equation of AB that is the required uh, equation of tangent. Equation of AB. A slope of AB first of all. Slope of AB. A y2 minus 1. 1 by 2 minus 5 by what is this? 5 by 6 correct or 5 by 2 correct? What happened here? 5, 1, 5 by 2 not 5 by 6. 5 by 2 1, ok 1 by 2 minus 5 by 2 by minus 1 by 2 minus 5 by 2 this is minus 4 by 2 into 2 by minus 6 it is equal to 2 by 3 now you want to find this equation equation of tangent tangent equal to uh, y minus 1 by 2 equal to 2 by 3 into x minus uh, x plus 1 by 2 ok 2 y minus 1 by 2 equal to 2 by 3 times of 2 x plus 1 by 2 this two this two get cancelled yeah 6y minus 3 equal to 6y minus 3 equal to uh, 4x plus 2 4x plus 2 therefore uh, equation of tangent the equation of tangent drawn through vertex is 4x minus 6y yeah plus 5 equal to 0 so what next what do you want to find the next to okay also find the length of the latter structure yeah just to need to find this length nana if you know this length this is actually nothing but a 4 into a gives length of the latter structure yeah means perpendicular distance from s to the tangent should find that gives small a ok observe here that should find small a equal to just by using diagram I am finding one. this is 4x minus 6y this is plus y this is 2 comma 3 perpendicular distance ok so now a is nothing but distance from focus to this uh, tangent which is drawn through vertex ok say so this is v actually yeah i can say s v perpendicular huh? 4 2 are 8 minus 3 6 are 18 plus 5 mod by root over a square plus b square 16 plus 36 that is equal to what is none here minus 10 5 5 by yeah, this is 52 means 2 root 13 ok this is a but you want uh, length of lattice rectum that is 4a length of lattice rectum ok that is equal to 4a that is equal to 4 into a means just now I got now 5 by 2 root 13 so what happened now 2 1s are 2 2s are that is 10 by root 13 units 
property number 2 image of focus with respect to neat and lie on directrix so okay students so by using this diagram only i want complete property 2 also so what property 2 saying that the image of s with respect to any tangent will fall on directrix okay so to prove that result again i am using same parabola that is y square equal to 4x focus becomes a comma 0 only so sa is perpendicular to this tangent do one thing extend sa extend sa yeah let it meet directrix at m now we want to show that m is the image of s so it is better to prove that already perpendicular no so it is better to prove that a is the midpoint of uh, sm okay just we need to find coordinates of m okay nana. so <coughs> i will write uh, using the diagram only you can complete this property also so i will produce Yeah, what is that SA? Let it meet directrix at M. Now we want to prove that M is the image, means it is enough to prove that. So here we are already M, this is S, this is A. Okay, so already this is any tangent here perpendicular. Okay. If you prove A is a midpoint of MS, automatically you can say that M is a image of S with respect to this tangent. Okay, what is this tangent actually? Y T equal to X plus A T square tangent perpendicular. This is what Nana A comma 0. Okay, now we want to find coordinates of M. This is directrix. Okay, don't think that uh, this uh, directrix and uh, this line is parallel, that is not correct. Okay, now I want to find coordinates of M. So, every point on M, so what is the equation of directrix Nana here? x equal to minus A means x coordinates of M also minus A, minus A comma something. How to find coordinates of M means first of all you can find the equation of S SA no two points are there with us already perpendicular no you know the slope of uh, SA and point uh, as S then you can find the equation of SA okay after find the equation of SA solve SA line with the directrix then you get the coordinates of M that's why I want to find the equation of SA okay equation of SA I want SA equation I want a comma zero. I know the slope of S A, no? Just to be found, no? Slope of S A is a, uh, uh, yeah, minus T. We know that. Slope of S A is minus T. Equation of S A directly. Equation of S A is y minus y1 equal to m t into x minus c a okay this is the equation of s a i don't want to simplify my intention is to find coordinates of m only no so what is x coordinates of m x coordinates of m minus a only so x coordinate of of m is minus a only observe na, na. observe in diagram here here this is the line no x plus a equal to 0 x equal to minus a. every point on this line should have the form minus a comma 0 that's why m coordinate uh, x coordinates of m is minus a only to find y coordinate just we need to substitute minus a in the equation 1 so 1 gives yeah y equal to minus t into minus a minus a what is that minus a minus a minus 2a this 2a t y equal to 280 therefore i can say coordinates of m equal to minus a comma 280 okay so now what you got nana m equal to minus a comma 280 now we got m coordinates already a coordinates are there so already s coordinates are there it is enough to prove that uh, uh, midpoint of uh, uh, s uh, s a nothing but a 
so I will find midpoint of uh, SM next page SM this is uh, a comma 0 this is uh, M minus a comma 280 yeah midpoint of SM equal to a minus a by 2 comma a plus 280 by 2 yeah sorry this is 0 no so that is what nana this is 0 0 comma 2 to get cancel 80 observe which is nothing but a only no that is m is the image of s yes, with respect to, to any tangent for this tangent m is image of s for we draw another tangent here may be the foot here may be the image but the image should be on directrix sometimes you can say that the what is the locus equation of uh, images of uh, s yes, with respect to any tangent means you can say the directrix the locus equation of the locus equation of image of focus of any parabola with respect to any tangent is directrix directrix so I can say this is another important result. So students, uh, another important property, I can say property 3 in this class, very, very, very important to um, establish that property, same diagram I am using here, S yes stand for here focus, that is A comma 0, I wrote here. Next, uh, A stand for just now, I foot uh, drawn on, uh, foot of perpendicular drawn on, uh, any tangent drawn through P. Uh, from the focus whose coordinates are a comma minus uh, 80 sorry a comma 80 next m is the image of s with respect to this tangent that is taken as minus a comma 80 proved one so by using this diagram and these coordinates i want to prove uh, important property 3 now i will write what is that the tangent the drawn through P bisects bisects the angle SPM angle SPM where M is the image of yes with respect to tangent tangent means tangent drawn through p yeah another very 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 important property and this one okay thank you several stars for this same diagram for this so how i am proving observe here to establish uh, this result join a pm join pm sp should join join pm okay yeah let this point also important for us uh, say this is say some r this is x axis no already this equation is what equation of tangent i will write here equation of tangent what is that yt equal to x plus at square so the i want r also known here what is this then r yeah x axis is y equal to 0 so put y equal to 0 in this equation what you will get x that is minus at square so minus at square comma 0 so 
r equal to minus 80 square comma 0 right r equal to minus 80 square comma 0 this is also important <laughs> okay join m mr also mr comma mr okay what is r nana the point where the tangent uh, intersect the x axis or axis actually in my diagram that is x axis Okay, now you want to prove that these two angles are same. Okay, first of all, SP means what? Focal distance, A times of 1 plus T square, proved one. Okay, next uh, SR, find SR, SR, yeah, S, S2V small a b to r minus 80 square the minus symbol stand for the point is left hand side of the yeah uh, y axis but uh, length is 80 square 80 square plus a 80 square plus a and i should know so i will write sr equal to sv plus vr i can say sv means small a only vr means 80 square point is minus 80 square comma zero only length means 80 square only 80 square that is a times of 1 plus t square observe here what happened sp length sr length same so with this tangent this is an isosceles triangle find pm also pm pm also will get same uh, a times of 1 plus t square angle find find pm p means what 80 square comma 280 yeah m means what minus a comma minus a comma 80 minus a comma 80 distance i want students uh, here i wrote uh, coordinates of m as uh, wrong no minus a comma 280 observe here i will show you see here 280 i wrote 80 289 okay yeah m is equal to minus a comma 280 so 280 this one so 80 square okay 280 280 can 0 so distance root over so what happened this is also same a times of 1 plus t square okay see the diagram now what you got nana sr sp pm all these three are equal find mr also mr mr also i think i will get same mr next mr next i want mr students now i want to find mr nana mr m stand for what here minus a comma 280 r stand what nana minus 80 square comma 0 distance i want mr square i will directly find minus 80 square minus of minus plus a whole square okay plus 0 minus 280 whole square which is same as uh, a square can take comma t square minus 1 okay plus 4 a square t square do one thing take a square common okay what happened on t square minus 1 whole square plus 4 t square so this is in the form of a minus b whole square plus 4 a b a plus b whole square that which is same as t square plus 1 whole square this this is mr whole square but i want mr mr means what a into 1 plus t square so final important conclusion all the four sides of this quadrilateral are equal sp equal to pm equal to mr equal to sr i will write okay sp pm therefore sp equal to pm equal to mr equal to yeah, what is that mr equal to sr Okay, first of all, it is a parallelogram and uh, two adjacent sides are equal, so it is a rhombus. So finally, I can conclude that it is a rhombus. Therefore, SP, I want to write in order, SPMR, SPMR is a rhombus. Students, finally, what you got, Nana? So, important thing is 
uh, SPMR is a rhombus. So in a rhombus, diagonals are right bisectors and diagonals are angular bisectors of vertical angles. Okay. So diagonals are right bisectors and they are angular bisector are vertical angles vertex angles okay so see, see the diagram now now i can say that this is one of the diagonal no sp so i can say that these two angles are equal that is the important property three just prove so p so P is the bisector of SPM angle SPM. So P is tangent only. So the theorem is established. Okay, students, observe now. What happened here? This length, this length, this length, this length equal. 